Hey guys, it's Dina and I'm back. And you might notice some things are a little bit different in the background. Uh, I got some feedback from my subby Kim. Thank you very much. Shout out to you. She told me that the my videos were blurry. It was hard to see them because the light was in back of me and not in front of me. So I made that adjustment. And with doing that, I had to rearrange my room. And I'm kind of off a little bit because I was used to having it a certain way but I'm working on that I actually will probably go to Ikea today or tomorrow sometime this weekend I'll go to Ikea and probably get the makeup drawers uh, for my makeup so that I can put that stuff away but the camera if you didn't watch the other video because it looked blurry I purchased the 80D that camera came with the information, extra batteries. Uh, this is an extra battery and so is one in here. And the main battery is in the camera already because I've been practicing with it. It also came with an additional charger that you can stick in a cigarette lighter, which I thought was really cool. And it came with an SD card, which is already in the camera. On here, this is the ADD. And this is the lens for my old camera. I had the, I have, I still have it, the Canon Rebel XS. And that Canon came with an 18 to 55 millimeter and also the 55 to 250 millimeter lenses. I'll show you the camera first. Uh, the camera has the SD card on the side and the battery on the bottom. It also has the HDMI input here. It has a headphone and mic jack, and I'm not certain. I think this may be for a remote for the camera. And it has the flip out display so that I can monitor myself in making the videos, making sure that everything is in focus. And it's got a turn style dial right here, which is pretty cool. And that's about it for the features with the camera but in playing around with this camera I noticed that the current lens that I have been using is not going to work because there was a lot of noise in the videos and that is because this lens along with the 55 to 250 millimeter are not STM lenses meaning they don't have that stepping motor so they are older so I went out and I purchased a new 18 to 55 millimeter lens and this is an STM and I put it on my camera in the camera store and it was very quiet when I went to video in addition to that I purchased a 50 millimeter uh, 1.8 lens and I practiced a little bit with it today and I like the blurred background look so it's not an STM. I will use that just for photos. And the last thing that I purchased from the camera store is the Smart Lab Rode mic. And this was $80. And you hook it into your iPhone and then you put the little thing here. I don't know if I'm going to use this or if I just want to use the iPhone and see how that works for audio. But, of course, anytime I make changes, I will let you guys know what I'm using. And just put any comments below and let me know what corrections can be made. I take constructive criticism and I will act on that to correct anything for you guys. But that is all that I have for you today. I am wearing L'Oreal telescopic mascara the Jordana Coco Loco lip liner and the Papa Don't Peach lip gloss I don't have any makeup on I only have on moisturizer and the Becca soft blurring powder you guys know that I love 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 that powder and the sale the VIB sale for Rouge members is happening right now and I think I'm going to just head on out and go to the store and stock up on some stuff that I like that's pretty pricey and get that 15% discount. Alright, 
I hope you guys like this video. Please let me know below any comments, questions that you may have, and I will talk to you guys later.